latest Eastern Pacific arrival is Tropical Storm Hilda, which is on its way very close already to becoming the next hurricane of the Eastern Pacific season this year. 13.9 degrees north, 117.5 degrees west, moving out to sea. Currently a tropical storm as of 12 p.m. Pacific time, July 31st, 70 mile per hour winds and a pressure of 994 millibars moving west-northwest at 12 miles per hour, around 285 degrees. So its current location, 13.9 degrees north, 117.5 west. Uh, I believe at this point it's a little bit south of where Felicia was for reference. Uh, a significant wind field, uh, 100 miles to the northeast and southeast quadrants. It's currently 356 miles from Isla Claudion, 544 from Socorro, 2517 from Hilo, Hawaii, very far away, but that's the next point that it would reach. 2607 from Kahului and 2706 from Honolulu. I'm not sure they'll be concerned about this storm just yet. But there it is. Uh, you can just about make out the coast of Mexico on the very northeast corner of that image right there. Uh, but moving out to sea and probably some strengthening on the way. Currently 70 miles per hour. Some satellite techniques suggesting that it's higher though. NOAA's ADT suggesting as possibly grounds even for 85 miles per hour, although that seems a little bit far-fetched. Uh, currently straddling the border with hurricane status and that's what the National Hurricane Center went with at their earlier advisory uh, with 70 mile per hour winds. There's another graphical depiction of the wind field and the track of the storm. Likely, according to the National Hurricane Center, they're projecting a 85 knot peak, which is 100 miles per hour. That's category 2 on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane scale uh, for peak on probably Sunday or Monday, and then uh, starting to speed up a little bit towards the northwest uh, and start to weaken. Uh, now, there is some complications with the forecast track because you've got Tropical Depression 9E down there as well and look what the GFS does with both of those. They really take a tumble, Fujiwaraing all over the place, the Fujiwara effect where the storms swirl around each other and then gets consumed into one big mess of a storm. That is very unlikely to occur, GFS wants it. Uh, I certainly wouldn't be putting any bets on that. Probably the case is that 9L uh, 9E sorry, will dissipate rather quickly or won't move very much in the shadow of Hilda um, and Hilda will take over the show. There's the rainfall pattern. You can quite clearly see Hilda's influence uh, delivering some local areas there of 16 inches. Of course, it's all out at sea. Uh, looking underneath the satellite imagery right now at those sea surface temperatures, uh, just about the uh, temperatures needed for tropical cyclone development. Underneath the storm right now, about 26 degrees Celsius. You can quite clearly see though they drop off when the storms move northwest. As they stay further south and west, they'll have a better chance of intensification. So models yet to catch up actually. National Hurricane Center, the top line there on that intensity chart, although some of those models are out of date now. Uh, wind shear forecast to remain fairly low, possibly moderate by some scenarios. Sea surface temperatures look to take a drastic fall pretty soon uh, in the next 48 hours. Uh, relative humidity though is looking good and the track course of the storm looks fairly set, although towards the five day period it could deviate south or north of the forecast track. So a uh, glitchy satellite imagery, we can't help that, it's the faulty, somewhat faulty GOES-17 satellite, all kinds of issues we know have been occurring on that. Uh, but there it is right now, looking decent on the uh, water vapour and on the infrared here, the classic infrared imagery, showing uh, Hilda and on the left hand side uh, 9E, which is looking <laughs> comparatively not so good. If necessary, we'll have more updates on this system as it develops. <laughs>